All right, what's up everybody? Michael from RoyalElements.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own stickers in Canva. So very briefly, we're going to go to Canva.com and then if you don't already have an account, you can hit the sign up button and sign up via any one of these methods. If you already have an account like I do, hit login and then we will be taken to a page that looks kind of like this. So you can see some of my recent designs. A lot of these are for our YouTube channel, um, which you should subscribe to, by the way, or for actual stickers like this one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit this create a design button, and then this interface will pop up. Now, I do have Canva Premium, um, and so I'm going to have access to a lot of things. You can just do this with the free version, but I'm going to select this custom size, and what I'm going to do is switch it to inches because we want to create a file that is, what, eight and a half by 11 inches. And that is going to be our full size sheet that we can print on. So if you're using our printable vinyl, if you're using some other type of sticker paper, this is what it is going to print out. All right, so now we have a ton of options here, almost too many. I'm going to walk you through what I think is most important and how I create our stickers. Okay, so one thing I like to use is this uploads file. So on this uploads tab, I use this a lot. You can see some of the files I've uploaded. Some of these I actually take from Google. Okay, and I uh, upload into here. Some of these I take off my phone and other things. You have to be careful with some of the licensing. Uh, if you're just ripping off images from Google to sell, um, you could get in trouble. So f warning there, but I like to import a lot here. You can just upload a file off of your desktop. Okay. There's also a really useful tab here for making stickers, which is elements. So we can search for any element. Let's say cute animals. Okay. And I'm doing this on the fly. We can pick up a lot of different elements here. So we can look at just the graphics. We're going to need to uh, ignore the GIFs, right? But let's say we wanted to create a sticker file of cute animals. So this is one way I do it. Go to the Elements tab, type in what you want to find, and then you can select whichever ones you find are appealing. Okay, so let's say we are going to go with this penguin, all right? So let me see if I can select it. And it doesn't sh let me see other ones like it, but I see one right here. Um, and I think that will be good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to resize these. All right. So you can drag them around. It's very intuitive. Resize, resize. I want to make sure that they're about the same size. Um, and then I am going to uh, copy, control C, and then paste, control V or command V if you're on a Mac like I am. So we can stuff and copy and paste a lot of these um, cute penguins onto a single page because you're going to want to maximize the uh, the amount of space you have on the sticker sheet depending on what you're using. Now this will use up quite a bit of ink, right? But here we go. Um, we have our sheet of stickers. Okay, so you can play around with this. We can add text. Okay, you can uh, draw. This is a, another cool feature, but for our purposes for designing stickers, elements, and uploads, this is where you're going to be. All right. So after this, we can, um, by the way, we can edit them. So I select it, hit this little edit button. This is another feature I use quite a bit. And then we'll be able to see some overlays. We'll be able to maybe increase the uh, contrast or brightness. So right here, we can increase the brightness, all right, make it super bright or not. We can uh, increase vibrance. That's something I like to, to do quite a bit. Saturation. So you can tell this sticker is, it pops a lot more than these guys, but maybe you actually want the penguin to actually have a white look, but maybe not. Okay, so that's completely up to you. After you're done adjusting these, we're going to hit this button up here. You can uh, name the file. So let's name it cute penguins all right so I remember what it is we're gonna hit the share button okay and then we're gonna hit download now this is very important it automatically has PNG file which tends to have the highest quality 
but if you're going to print it, you could also select PDF print, okay, best for printing. A lot of times, I like to leave it as PNG. It turns out looking great. So we're going to hit download, okay. We could adjust the size of it, um, but this should be perfectly fine. Hit download, and now our file will be downloading from Canva, and now it is on our desktop. So once I click this, it will open up the file, and here we go. This is now a printable file that we have created, custom stickers, and um, if we maximize it, should look perfect. Definitely double check it, but I'm now gonna hit con Command P just to walk you through that final step, and now we can send it to our printer, hit print, we can use Cricut's print then cut feature if that's something you're using and um, these stickers will print out nice and crisp. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that like button. I'll see you in the next video.